Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm going to continue to speak about low back pain. I've done several episodes where I spoke about the contributing factors to low back pain. Now I'm going to do a few episodes where I speak about low back pain and specific sports or specific activities. Today is going to be about weightlifting. Weightlifting is a common activity worldwide. Weightlifting itself is a sport, but weightlifting is also a type of exercise, and weightlifting is a type of training to make you stronger when you are training for other sports. So weightlifting is a common activity used by millions. Low back pain is something that can occur while weightlifting. Most of the time, low back pain through weightlifting occurs when there is a flaw in the technique. Also when someone is not giving themselves adequate rest between training sessions. And also if there is a strength and balance or a significant weakness in a certain muscle or a certain group of muscles. There are two exercises that contribute more to low back pain than any other exercises. And those are squats and deadlifts. Squats and deadlifts are fundamental weightlifting exercises. They're actually two of the exercises in a powerlifting contest. These exercises help to build strength and power and endurance in the lower extremity, in the pelvis, and in the lower back. They also help to build the entire spine. Perfect technique is essential. Weightlifting utilizes heavy weights to engage the muscles to build strength. Using excessive weights and performing improper technique puts the low back in a compromising position that may lead to injury. Low back pain is one of the most common complaints among those who lift weights. Adolescents and young athletes are particularly vulnerable to growth spurts, increased physical activity, increased engagement in sports, and reduced time between training sessions. Low back pain can pose prominent hardships by limiting movement, reducing strength, and eliciting painful sensations. Low back pain can pose a risk on psychological well-being due to its chronicity and debilitating nature. Flawed technique can often put a great deal of stress on the low back structures. Two most common injuries leading to low back pain in weightlifting are muscle strains and intervertebral disc bulge or herniation. Squats and deadlifts were reported to cause low back pain more than any other exercises. So we have to make sure that these exercises are performed correctly with perfect technique. If you are a young trainee or an inexperienced trainee, please work with a fitness professional who is going to be able to help you to learn proper technique. You can also work with a strength and conditioning coach to learn proper technique. Improper execution may compromise proper body posture and lead to body tilt and back flexion while squatting. As the body tilts forward, the effects of the loads lifted increases dramatically. When the body is tilted forward 20 degrees, the compression forces on the fourth lumbar intervertebral disc increase by 50%. This renders the lumbar spine highly prone to injury. So we want to make sure that we keep our spine straight and the pelvis in line when we are squatting and when we are deadlifting. When you are deadlifting, keep the spine straight look straight ahead. Do not rotate the spine to either side. Do not bend the spine to either side. Keep the pelvis level. Do not rotate the pelvis in either direction. And when you are squatting, you want to make sure that the spine stays straight. You do not want to rotate the spine. You do not want to bend the spine laterally in either direction. You want to keep the pelvis in line with the spine. You don't want the pelvis to be rising on one side and you don't want the pelvis to be rotating. So you want to keep the spine and pelvis in their proper position while performing deadlifts and squats. This technique alone is going to lower the potential of an injury while performing squats and deadlifts. You also want to make sure that you give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. 
These are big, powerful lifts that usually require a great deal of weight. So you want to make sure that you give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. Never perform an exercise if you are still sore from the previous training session of that exercise. Give yourself sufficient rest between training sessions of all exercises, but especially between deadlifts and squats. Another mention that comes into play that can cause low back pain while weightlifting is a weakness or a strength in balance. Many times there is weakness in the deep core muscles or the deep spinal muscles. This causes the more superficial muscles to have to work harder to provide stability to the joints. The superficial muscles, such as the erector spinae muscles, also known as the paraspinal muscles, the deeper muscles, such as the transverse abdominis, which is the deepest abdominal muscle, and the multifidi muscles. These muscles are muscles that are shorter and they help to provide stability to the joints. So you want to make sure that the multifidi muscles and the deeper abdominal muscles, such as the transverse abdominis, are very strong. Larger multi-segmental muscles, such as the lumbar paraspinal muscles, compensate by coactivation when there is multifidi dysfunction. Remember, the multifidi muscles are deep spinal muscles. Motor control errors or lack of multifidi acting before the larger global muscles increases compressive forces along spinal segments and results in pain. Motor control exercises involve retraining the multifidi muscles and the transverse abdominis to become active before the larger global multi-segmental muscles become active. So we want to make sure that the deep core muscles are strong. There are strengthening exercises that you can perform for the multifidi and for the transverse abdominis muscles. These exercises include the abdominal drawing in maneuver, abdominal hollowing, and abdominal bracing. You can also perform lumbar extension on a football. These are essential exercises to help to strengthen the multifidi muscles and the transverse abdominis muscles. Lumbar sprain strains are typically the result of abnormal tension placed upon a muscle tendon or ligament. Most lumbar muscle strains respond well to conservative treatment such as chiropractic care and massage. Exercise has become a cornerstone of preventing and treating low back pain along with conservative treatment such as chiropractic care and massage. Now there are certain things that you want to do when we speak about training to avoid low back pain. First of all, you want to give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. I know I've said this before, but it's so important. Recovery is something that is often overlooked. You want to give your body adequate time to recover from your training sessions and from your competitions. You can reduce the volume of your lifting routine. You also want to perform the demanding part of the routine early in the training session to avoid technical errors due to fatigue and exhaustion. You want to modify your training routine and you want to use a weightlifting belt, especially when you are performing heavy squats and heavy deadlifts, especially when you are doing very low repetition. And also you want to do some cross training, okay? You can get in the pool, swimming or walking in the water is going to work the muscles symmetrically from side to side. In review, you want to make sure that you use proper technique with every exercise, but especially when you are squatting and when you are deadlifting. You want to give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. Please add more rest days and recovery days to your routine. You want to do cross training perform different types of exercise that will benefit your entire spine, especially the core muscles and especially the abdominal muscles. And you want to strengthen the deep core muscles, strengthen the transverse abdominis and strengthen the multifidi muscles. And again, perform the more demanding exercises 
early in your routine. You want to make sure that you warm up well and you want to make sure that you cool down. And another thing that you could do too, uh, it's a very simple thing to do and I actually made a video of this and I will put a link to it, is pull-up bar hanging traction where you hang from the pull-up bar to decompress the spine after you're done training. This is an ideal thing to do after you have done squats or you have done deadlifts or any other type of exercise that compresses the spine. Thank you everybody for watching today's Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. I greatly appreciate your viewing. Please remember watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Please see a medical professional before starting an exercise program or if you have injured yourself. Please do not self-diagnose yourself. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, please stop immediately and find a viable substitute. Also, give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You could go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book, and you can also find my blog. My blog contains articles on spine health, sports medicine, fitness, nutrition, and chiropractic care. So please visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com. Please feel free to like this video. If you have feedback, questions, or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald Aozello, DC. And always remember to train hard, but train smart. Give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury free, completely rehabilitate your injuries, and achieve your goals.